Where your camera at on the Oh, list? sorry, it's right over here. All right, here we go. All right. <laughs> Dummy. <laughs> hey, guys. What you do? What's that? What's that? What's that? What are we doing? <laughs> oh, no. Are you talking about the three, two, one? All right. So they'll get in on it. Three, two, one. <laughs> Welcome to the show, guys. I hope you guys had a great week. We're here with another edition of our little show here. Of Sugar, Honey, Ice, Tea. Right. <laughs> Back with another weekend of the fuckery that's mm -hmm. been going on all week. We are here to wrap it up. All week, all week. No pun intended. She came up with a lot of the stories this week. I... I was zoning out trying to get some stuff together with my channel. I got promoted. But yeah, yeah. So she's over here doing a lot of the the, the producing work. Okay, so I'm telling you, she's like a real life YouTuber. She be consistent with this shit. And if y'all subscribe to her channel, which a lot of y'all are, y'all know what I'm talking about. She be putting them out. And y'all know if I'm gonna bring it, it's gonna be sex. <laughs> y'all know. If I'm so y'all see the title. It's Atomic Horniness. It's the season. I believe that a lot of the frustration we see, like. When we see like the whole gender war, mm -hmm. it's because people be sitting at home horny. I, I honestly believe that. When men get on there and be like, I'm so tired of seeing these women shaking their ass and thongs on, on internet. I'm tired of seeing it. I do it. I, I get on there and say that shit all the time, right? So I can Sexual I can criticize. Frustration. Yeah, it's it, it's 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 I don't say yeah, it can be frustrating. Off. Huh? You better beat off. You know that's taboo now, right? Eat you a flesh? What, you, beating off? Beating off, yeah, because niggas want to re retain. Well, okay, then retain and relax. Like, either you're going to beat off and be easy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, bars. <laughs> beat off. Either you're going <laughs> to beat off and be easy, or you're going to retain <laughs> and relax. No, nah, people feel triggered. They get Merch online. They, they minding their own business. They probably in their head space. They get online, and then they just see you know, a sexy woman or a sexy man that they're attracted to and they just get triggered. They're like, you know what? I don't really want to see this. I don't need this right now. I'm lonely. I'm horny. Ain't nobody next to me. It's I got to do something. <laughs> <laughs> people be wanting companionship. Now, Not people can sit there and say, yeah, we can, you can, you, you know, why do you think men don't just retire with porn? We would have been done with dealing with women if it, it would have, uh, as abundant as porn is. But you, you know, naturally as humans, we want companionship. Well, y'all need to stop being irritating as fuck. No, but I mean, but that's, it ain't just us. A lot of y'all are. It's not just, it, we are annoying. As fuck. I can't say we are annoying. I can't, I can honestly, hell. I can honestly say that a lot of us guys are annoying, but we're not annoying in a way that it, infr that it encroaches upon what you doing. Yeah, but the annoying. Y'all, y'all, y'all get annoyed by shit that we doing over there, like in a corner. You know that's what I'm not, saying? Not, I saw I saw a video and I wish I would have saved it. I mean, I do have a show. I should have saved some of these videos, right? The freaking lady said, "Don't show." Oh, I actually, I actually did a video, uh, a response to it. Stupid. She said, "Oh, don't you get mad when you see your husband outside having fun and you in the house and you just like, how the fuck are you out there having a good time and I'm in here, you know, miserable and all this other well, shit." Why are you in the house? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, go outside with him. How you mad at him? Cause he happy, and you make a you get it. Like, and in a that it was like a pod, it was a podcast, and the other lady group was like, I feel you, dude. I be getting so annoyed, and they just be in their own little world, and that's not the only time I'm hurting. I'm just like, well, let him be in his own little world. Like, why would that annoy you? That doesn't make any sense. Get some friends. <sighs> get some friends. Like, I'm not gonna be mad cause somebody outside having fun. Like, what? But if I'm outside out every day having fun, you ain't yeah, gonna get annoyed. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna get. She, it she, she ain't lying. She ain't gonna. She would get it. <laughs> Please be outside. She be like, go out there. She Please. Be, she be encouraging me to make friends. I'm going to call the <laughs> homies and be like, y'all kicking it today? Right, yes? Yeah. Yes? But I honestly think that's what it is. I think people get online. They like, they, they lonely in their situation, whatever their situation may be. And they like, yo, I'm getting on here and I'm seeing all this shit. I don't want to see this shit. And then they want to take it out on the opposite sex. I honestly believe change fundamentally that's what it is. Change your algorithms. Huh? Change your algorithms. That's, a, that's the whole algorithm. That's the algo. I don't that's, see that's, none of that in my algo. You see people sucking toes. So you seeing something in your algorithm. First and, of all. and a lot of us, we seeing a lot of the similar videos. She got a video that we, I don't even know if I can, I'm going to blur it a little bit with the <laughs> digitalization. I'm going to show it like right here. But as you can see, <laughs> this man is in a club doing what? Sucking toes, bro. Sucking whole toes. Y'all are too thirsty out here. And so I say, a lot of men be complaining like, oh, you know, like I say like, these women be having like these lofty expectations, some of them, right? Why are you looking at me like that? 
Because in hindsight, he wasn't sucking them. I seen the video. What did he do? I just did. A, I took a picture of it. He was licking her foot. That's gross. Oh. She in the club. Ain't no telling what about him when them feet bend. But some men say it's that, that the it's, dirtier the better. It's the thirst. Like somebody said today, you don't want to eat ass because <laughs> of E. coli. I'm like, you you, you know, like he said, don't do what you saw you people doing on a, on a hub because it will give you uh, gum pupper ruffles. Whatever the fuck that is. So, I saw a TikTok video. Uh, more of the story is, fellas, don't be out here sucking toes in the club. Like, really. It's the, it's, that's just too thirsty, bro. But, but I'm not I'm not into toe sucking, so that might it's be a, a vibe a, for some ladies. It's a, like, it's a, I, like, I like feet. I'm not going to lie. I do, I do enjoy feet, but I'm not going to be sucking some strange woman's feet in a club. That might be the gateway to, like, it's a gateway. A gateway to what? Fucking. You think she gonna end up fucking that nigga? If, if, this thirsty nigga? Possibly. Yeah, you, 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 yeah. They, hey, she strange, might. She might. Stranger things have happened. Yeah, but I don't think you really, have to do all that to get he, some pussy. He might have a foot fetish. That's that's fine. So he might really was. He, she might have really had on some fly ass strappy. I just stiletto joints. They look he great. Was like yo, they, they probably look. They probably her her her, her, her toesies probably looked amazing. But I'm still not gonna suck some strange woman's toes in the club, y'all. Just for my integrity. Just for just for the sense of pride I have about I mean, myself, you know what I'm saying? Walking around with integrity, integrity. A lot of us, and <clears throat> a lot of us integrity. are very dignified, and we try to keep ourselves in a regal manner. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Okay. There's not as many scumbags as you think. Hmm. It's a lot of good clownery, a lot of scumbags. It is a lot of clownery. A lot of all types of shit. <laughs> a lot of all that. But more of the story is, fellas, don't be in in the club. It's not even just that. It's it's. The, what I was saying, the reason a lot of ladies have all these lofty expectations is because niggas be doing shit like that. Simping. Hard simping. Sucking somebody's, I mean, licking, literally licking the bottom of a woman's feet in a club is hardcore simping, bro. You doing yourself a disservice. You doing your brothers a disservice. You I doing, I, no, no, he, he is. Ask nah. his homeboy, I ain't got shit to do nah, with that. No, yeah, you doing him a that's disservice. Not a did you see that's the, not a reflection of his homeboy. Did you see the video of the, did you see the video of the white girl grabbing on the black dude in the club like this? No. Did you see that? I'm gonna put this up here right here. She didn't see it, but that's she's with her man. That's domestic violence. She's with her man, right? And she she starts grabbing like they're they're coming in the club and she's grabbing on this black dude and she's like chasing he's trying to get her off and everybody's just like laughing and stuff but her boyfriend's trying to like chase her around like like get off this dude like it's like a that's like a whole minute this goes on like and I'm and everybody's laughing and I'm just thinking that shit ain't funny because if I tell you to get the fuck off me I mean it I don't give a fuck who you are I don't give a fuck how good you look we could be at the club we could be getting turned up if I say get the fuck off me I mean it don't don't be chasing me or I mean she was really invasive in that man's space. And had it been the same, had the rever the roles been reversed, everybody would be like, "Oh, he's a he's a assaulting that he's assaulting mm -hmm. that girl." You know yeah, what I'm saying? The double, the double but yeah, just don't just don't be doing that. It's that atomic horniness, and don't be doing that in front of you. I felt bad for her boyfriend. Now, actually, I lied. I'm just I'm up here just saying that because I'm on camera. I didn't feel sorry for him. I actually was like, if it was me, I just would have left. Why the fuck are you chasing her? Like. She chasing another nigga. Like, why are you up here? Like, come on. Like, why are you grabbing on him? Like, bro, come on. Have some dignity. Because some new, dignity. Jays, new Jays is coming out. Some new Jays is coming out? What's that mean? So that means he got to chase her. Make sure she what's new? What's new Jays? What's that? Shoes. It's a white. It's a whole white new, dude. New game. What that mean? They white people. White they, boys they, yeah, that's Jays? a whole black dude thing. That's okay, fucking bands. being hoes over some, over some Jordans. As if Jordan give a fuck Converse. about you niggas. Huh? Vans. White boys like stuff. What, 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 what's the last time you seen? Where's the last time you seen a white boy wearing Jordans that wasn't like a a, a riffraff? I worked riff -raff. with a, a legit shoe head. Shout out to the homie if you're watching. Oh, okay. I mean, every time the Jays dropped, and he was certified. He was a whole white boy. Like he wasn't mixed or nothing. Oh. The white boys out there that get down like that. Why did the white boy look? He just started to take oh, over no. y'all swag. Oh no, but. I'll find a video, I'll put it in here. Right. And I saw a tip speaking of eating ass. What's up? So I saw a TikTok video. Follow your girl on TikTok. I don't know what my TikTok name is, but I'll let y'all know. Um, it was a girl recording her dude and he mm -hmm. was cooking for her. Mm -hmm. And she was like, Oh, she like my babe cooking for me, blah 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 blah. Like it's gonna be lit. And he knew she was being he was being recorded mm -hmm. and she was like, Oh shit, like I'm gonna lick your ass tonight. <laughs> He was like, turn the camera off. 
why you say that shit on camera? Turn the camera off. So she kept recording, but she kind of like dropped it a little bit. Mm -hmm. So he wouldn't know that she was still recording. Mm -hmm. And then he put the stuff in the in the oven, whatever it was, in the oven. And then he mm -hmm. was like, <laughs> he was like, so you really don't, you don't really look my ass? <laughs> and she was like, ah, I'm caught in 4K. So y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop. More of the story. Stop is playing these pranks on y'all boyfriends. Cause what's going, what's going to end up happening? Is look, are they they yelling at their dogs next door? Uh, what do you call it? They gonna lose trust for you. What? Yeah, you can't be recording a nigga when he when talking about some intimate <laughs> shit. And he don't know it. Like you can't do it. Cause like low key gonna think he record him at other times too. More of the story, ladies. Men love it. They just don't never. They don't want nobody to know they like. I don't it. give a shit. But they like. If it. I like what I like, what I like. Y'all can know whatever. Y'all can know my proclivities. If it's out there, it's out there. But whatever. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm Wait. so milk toast though. It don't make no sense. That's crazy. That's crazy. What's crazy? Yeah, that like he and it was a black dude, which is funny because black men do not. So it's just a picture. Well, not. Yeah, there it is. But yeah, well, black men don't admit to too much of the. The freakiest black men say they are like doggy style. That's not. Come on. I'm a freak. No, that's not. That's not. And they that, they been... get in the bedroom and just want to doggy style you. So where's the freak? What do y'all talk about freak? What's 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 a freak? That's a great question. What's a freak? Because everybody thinks they're a freak, but at the end of the day, everybody just trying to bust a nut. That's why so many people frustrated. Atomic horniness. Well, bust one. They got whole attention. Got to. You got to. Do keep, you need to pick a lane? You gotta, you gotta get that seat up in you so that you could you could get your super saiyan on because Fellas. you just you just you you know what I'm saying you develop muscles faster you're faster you're stronger you think clearer no you don't I'm gonna That's get y'all some workout shirts mm -hmm. I'm gonna, for the fellas and it's gonna be two it's gonna say beat it and be easy so y'all can wear them to the gym or relax and retain retain and relax merch retain and relax yeah. You can wear them to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all just won't be out here looking with beer bodies. Uh, with with terrible ass dad bods. Most of us going we we yeah, we a lot of men do have terrible dad bods. If y'all just wanna let it go, just say y'all wanna let y'all bodies go. Like at some point women be like, fuck it. You can't do that. Y'all be you so can't do, in denial. You can't, you can't do that as a man. Why you can't? Because I I'm not gonna give up my why would I give up my body? Why yeah. would I why would I stop taking care of my body? I didn't say stop taking care of it. What do you mean? Stop. What do you mean? You saying you saying say fuck it? I can't say. I can't. I'm not gonna say. It. I'm not gonna ever say fuck it. Like I I'm gonna always be out there hitting the weights. Like I'm gonna always be out there walking. I'm gonna always be out there because if as long as I got to live in this body, I want it to be functional. Period. I don't give a fuck if I'm 80 years old. I'm gonna still be out there, just like those other 80 old men, just a walking. Just walking. So just keep it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> just like now. Yep. Hot as shit. He be out there. Buy him lonesome. Be doing it. But yeah, that's crazy. You had another one too. Why is Ricky Martin facing punishment? <laughs> the fuck he do? But <laughs> fifty years in prison. Look at this. He is so drums. <laughs> he is so dramatic. So y'all, in case y'all didn't know, breaking news. First of all, congratulations to R. Kelly and Joyce Lynn. They engage. So wait, wait, wait. Wasn't she one of the victims? Yes, she was. So shout out to her, you know what I'm saying? She, you know, and he gonna be about eighty some odd when mm -hmm. she get out, when he get out. So, you know, I'm low key confused. Well, there you go. She was she was one of the victims for real. Yeah, she did. She she did the interview with Gail and some mm -hmm. other. And they engaged now. Yeah, I don't know who proposed to whom, but it's Robert at the end of the day. So Ricky Martin faces up to 50 years in prison for domestic abuse claims in relation to alleged sexual relationship with his 21-year-old nephew. So just to provide context to that, Ricky Martin had been has been dating his 21-year-old nephew for seven months. His nephew? What? Ricky Martin allegedly. Oh, allegedly. Is it allegedly his nephew or was he allegedly like with this dude? Oh, okay. <laughs> allegedly with his nephew, he's been in a relationship 
and the, the dude was like he's been over here being on some bb domestic stuff so he called them people so how i guess he didn't it? realize when he called them people they're gonna be like y'all related so this is not it so so how's he facing 50 years uh in puerto rico that's incest oh so you go to prison prison for that yeah it ain't just like a fine yeah so he has um he got a protection order on him niggas out here be actively fucking they cousin Speaking actively. of actively, like, like Kevin Gates, there Kevin, we go. Kevin Gates, he was fucking his cousin. There he was like, yeah, we, we found out his cousin was like. He said he found out. See, Jeremy be low key. <laughs> <laughs> he was low key. Had you look out here looking bad in these? Streets. Why? What did I do? First of all, I think Kevin Gates is full of shit. First, second of all, I think Kevin Gates is not about half the shit that he claimed he'd be about. Mm -hmm. I think he says a lot of shit for shock value, in my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. But he was just getting some controversy, like a couple, like a month or so ago, when he was like on stage about his uh, ex, right? Yeah, remember he was che he cheated on her with old girl, and then, and then she got with the with the female trainer. Yeah, and now they back together. Why do I know? See, the fact that I know all of this, <laughs> and, that's, and that's in my brain, so it irritates me. It Before does. we get, because I do want to talk about Kevin Gates. So, but according to report, oh yeah, we were talking about Ricky Martin. He had a sexual relationship with his 21 year old nephew. Mm -hmm. um, they got a restraining order. Who got a restraining order against him? Claims of stalking and domestic abuse. Um, the Ricky Martin is denying it and all that other good great stuff. Um, Puerto Rican law, due to the Puerto Rican law 54, the individual is reportedly a family member. Uh, Ricky Martin's brother is the one who told. <laughs> Ricky Martin's brother is the one that told it. Mm -hmm. And he was accused of stalking again, stalking and abusing. And they threw out the dude's name. Oh, he had a sexual relationship with for almost a year. Um, he ended the relationship with his uncle. His uncle did not take the news well. And so allegedly, Ricky started stalking and posting up outside his house, and Dang. yeah, sending doing phone calls, sending text messages, and the nephew said he has he suffers from like psychological and physical abuse during the relationship. And if he is proved under Puerto Rican law, mm -hmm. if Mr. Martin is proven guilty, he could be sentenced up to fifty years in prison. Jesus. That's crazy. Is he lo is he locked down now or did he bail out? Uh, it, you know what it didn't, it didn't say. say. And he said he can't keep um he can't you know he can't speak up on it because of you legal know, reasons. Yeah, that type of stuff. Thoughts? Ricky, nothing, put, nothing that nobody do, none of these celebrities do. You know how I feel about celebrities right now. I don't like them. I don't like none of them. I'm not gonna even front with y'all. I I have a I have an active disdain. For like ninety eight percent of celebrities that are out there, and she knows it. The only like the only type of like like TV and stuff I watch is like reality shows because I don't have to see celebrities. Celebrities irritate me, and the reason they irritate me is because they always want to come out. They get paid to come out and tell us stuff, right? They come out and tell us what they want to, and they don't stand up for nothing when it's time to actually stand up for something. They don't. They only do it to when it's something that's going to profit them, or when the government calls them to the White House, or want to send them a check to promote something Pandering. that's it and that's, that's all they do i can't stand is. most of these celebrities right now and then every year they have multiple award shows where they fillet themselves in front of like everybody right and i've all and like ever since i was a teenager it started irritating me with the mtv music awards and all that i'm like these people are just getting up here just celebrating themselves and once the internet came out and myspace was was popping and i saw so many independent artists that existed and i couldn't believe that a lot of these people wasn't getting exposure and how mtv just sit up there and like oh these people are the are the artists of the year da, da, da. and all these people don't get burned and just these celebrities like oh, this person's a genius this person's a genius and it's like it's like this uh what do you call it uh uh incestuous like thing in hollywood i can't stand them motherfuckers and when they when now that they're hopping on TikTok too Mm -mm. So like Ricky Martin fucking his cousin don't surprise me. A lot of people in Hollywood, a lot of people in Hollywood allegedly. fuck little kids allegedly. A lot of them have all these rituals allegedly. So I don't put nothing past them. Beyonce, Jay Z, uh, all y'all favorites, Nicki. Uh, so all these motherfuckers are, are are trash to me. To me, just to me, right. because we at this point in society and what have they done? Nothing but push bullshit on us. Capitalism, fucking nonsense. Yada 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 yada. I hate celebrities, and then nothing they, they do surprises me anymore, and they get to get away with a whole lot of shit. Like Alec Baldwin, like he killed that lady. 
earlier this year. Oh, that was an accident. Allegedly. So, meanwhile. <laughs> Allegedly. You got a live round. You got a live round on the set. Why? Why? Anybody that knows how to handle firearms or, or around firearms, no. I don't give if you had me a firearm on the set, you know to check that firearm yourself to make sure that, that 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 gun is clear. That's what you do. Ain't no accidents like that. You a grown ass man. You know you didn't handle weapons before. You know what you're supposed to be doing. Thanks. Meanwhile, Omarion's brother. Oh, here we go. Orion has the OnlyFans, ladies. And how come ain't nobody listening to Jazz B? Raz is, is because nobody knows who Jazz is. You know, nobody's listening to but him. He, and all and all and all, and according to him, all them niggas was getting raped. In Hollywood. Blame it on was tipped up to his This list. is this is not not alcoholic. Meanwhile, Orion has an OnlyFans <laughs> and he has posted his first video, ladies. And if y'all want to know what the video is, or if you want to get a little sneak peek, because I think it low-key leaked on Twitter. I haven't searched it because I don't want to see it every time I go search for some shit. Yeah, it stresses me out. But he is working out naked, basically. He's doing a naked workout, ladies. So if y'all want to go over there and, and subscribe to Omarion's brother, Orion, go for it. Naked workout. Free, free promo. <laughs> free promo for that guy. If they want to see, oh, a lot of women love Orion. Free, free promo. That sounds like free promotion to me. Hope we get that promotion. I was paid, so. Huh? I was paid. Oh, you was paid? I was paid. <laughs> here's the clip from, uh, I'm so sick of Carisha, but here's the clip, clip, the huh, huh, clip from uh, the boy, Kevin Gates. I couldn't think of his name. I'm about to stick my own tongue in See, I just don't think he's really about that life. About I just life. think sticking his tongue in a coochie. He he not even said stick his tongue in her booty. Well both holes. I just think because he's so vulgar, like and I mean we've heard like vulgar rappers and stuff like that, and it was like, oh, okay, like, we never really paid it too much attention, <laughs> but I just, you know what I'm saying, and we've heard R&B singers say what they gonna do to you, you know what I'm saying, all the things your man won't do, all that good stuff, <laughs> but for some reason, Kevin Gates is giving me all talk, because if you was giving it up like that, low-key, you got the money, I guess you cute, he ain't my type, and your head game, your dick game is just also oh premium, and your girl politely cheated? Politely. Well, just because you get cheated on mean that you don't you can't have sex. But you're not gonna be out here flossing and flexing what you what you doing. And then you just because and just because and, and how do you know he he did that with his wife? How do you know that she even got that treatment? How do you know he ain't doing that with other bitches? That's it and again, and you wonder why you got stepped out on. So you giving and I wouldn't be surprised, low key, if he wasn't giving other bitches grade A treatment. I wouldn't be surprised. It wouldn't shock me at all. Meanwhile, can we have a moment of silence? For what? The Texas and the Fiesta. Uh -huh. <laughs> <sighs> I'm just playing, y'all. If you, if you live in Vegas, if you know, you know. Then, so, what else happened in, you know, pop news? A man in Florida had a head-on collision with a FedEx truck because he was receiving some oral... Atomic horny. <laughs> People out here dying in the streets. We're going to pop that up every time <laughs> I... We're going to pop that up on the screen. <laughs> Hashtag. Niggas out here nuclear horny. That's crazy. A head-on collision. Head-on collision. Dang. That maybe that was because he retained. See, you can't retain and get or, in the car to release. Or... What up? It's not that serious. Pull over. Get some head. Well, Why be know, driving, getting some head? That's not necessarily, you know. Because Cause I'm not about to, see, here's the thing. I guess I'm approved because I'm not about to be putting other people's lives in danger, okay? Because yeah. I'm up here getting head and you up, you in here in my lap and I'm supposed to be driving. That's just me, though. Well, because, you know. Just me, I don't know. I'm just, you know. Respons social responsibility type shit. I don't know. I guess I ain't the responsibility. 
I mean, I don't know, for some reason, as a woman, and it's mainly us who initiate Yes, I know that. And, so, and, and, during, and like, thing, driving. The, the, the few times I've ever had public sex, the girl, the woman initiated. Yeah. Or imply heavily, like, yo, this is, this is, like, we need to get this on, and then you having sex in the public. Mm -hmm. It's never, it's never us that's like, oh, it's like, get to see it so right here. So you don't here. think men enjoy public sex? Like, we have, we enjoy it once it's, once, once it, it's once starts. Once happening, yeah, but y'all don't, like. It ain't like a thrill for us. Mm -hmm. It ain't like this, like, thrilling thing. Oh, we in the backseat of the car. Oh, we just happy to get some nut, you know, mm -hmm. and get a nut off. Like, it's better when you're in a comfortable place to have sex for us. At least for me. I can't speak for every man. I can speak for myself. I prefer to be at the crib, you know, pulled over somewhere, off in a cut. You know, something like that. Nothing like where it's just like, oh, yeah, we just. The possibility you know, of being caught. No, I don't care about being. Like, I've had, I've had sex in, at, at the mall. I've had sex in cars. But you said it was initiated by women. Mm -hmm. Right. So we like, on some level, yeah, we I know. like that. Yeah, that, yeah excitement. You know right. Yeah. The risk of getting caught. Yeah. Right. Because <laughs> we are heathens. Yeah, y'all are. <laughs> At the end of the day, we are heathens. The more I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, damn, we are some freaks. Because think about it. Like, if you if you got, y'all are. Like, on TikTok, like, like, TikTok, most of what women talk about is sex. Y'all yeah. talk about sex Way more than men, and it's and it's more important to y'all than us. Ultimately, I think we 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 physically, yeah, we have to get that release, absolutely. Okay. But as far as like the importance in, a, in our overall in life, scheme, it is it, it, it's a it's a part of our life. It's it's important, of course. Like every man wants to have like sex, but you, you do know that a, there's a good portion of men that are virgins, it, well into their thirties. Well, that. no, I'm I'm be, I'm just being honest. I think it's like I think it's a high number. It's almost like forty percent of men are like virgins way up into their forties. I mean, up until their thirties, there's men that are not having sex right now. They just don't. They they don't. Know, I don't know if they don't know how to talk to women. They don't know how to get. Like they've never been in a situation where a woman was just like, you know, mm -hmm. like let's let's go. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know if they don't know how to assert. But according to the, the statistics, about thirty. I think it's thirty three to forty percent of young men. I believe ages like obviously eighteen to like thirty five haven't had sex at all with a woman. At all, like at all, and, and it's a common thing. Men don't. There's a lot more men that die virgins than women. Y'all, y'all. So there's always going to be somebody that wants to have sex with a woman, no matter what y'all condition, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Like, not um, your condition. Uh, 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 honestly, a man will have sex with you. It's the truth, right? Like y'all know this. Whereas a man, you have to have some type of something going on in order for women to want to fucking fuck you, like. You have to have something going on. And it's not always about looks. It's not always about money. It's something. You know what I mean? You got to have that something about you where women going to want to be, you know, going to want to be like, yo, let's, let's get this in. Like, them hoochie daddy shorts, <laughs> them sweatpants. You, what, could whatever, be, whatever. you could be the biggest motherfucking nerd ever, fellas. Listen to me, all you geeks and nerds and dudes who just ain't got it quite right yet. Put but that's on not some hoochie daddy shorts. Or some some sweatpants. But I don't think it's I don't think but I think that's a misconception too. I don't think if it's if you just want a little no, 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 I, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm saying that it's geeks and nerves. Geeks and nerves have sex. A lot of sex. Like I said, or would you consider me to be you consider me to be a nerd, right? On the low. Yeah, like well, on the low. I've never had problems having sex. Right, but but that doesn't mean that it ain't other geeks and nerds. No, I know that, but a lot of geeks and nerds have sex with each other too. That's that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like like you look at Comic Con and all that other stuff. Them, them girls are freaks, bro. They are they be down, they be DTF. When you go to a convention. Not DTF. <laughs> okay. You go to these conventions and you go to these parties, a lot of times people end up fucking at these nerd conventions. That's what that shit is about. Like half of the convention is about, you know, obviously the nerd, the nerd stuff, the the culture, da da da. Mm -hmm. Then the other half is literally about fucking. It literally is about fucking. Like, so I don't think it's like oh like nerdy guys. I think it's more just like culturally it's just it's a lot of young men in general that don't know how to assert themselves in that way. Men, get on TikTok, add you a little filter, you know what I'm saying? Get you some hoochie daddy shorts, you know what I'm saying? And y'all, y'all should follow some of y'all should hear some of what, some of what these men say. A lot of these men, in my opinion, and I know if they were to go to my TikTok and come here, I have different personas. But, what's, what are <laughs> but if they, but a lot of these men, um. Their frustration is that they don't, in my opinion, is that in, in their coming up, like as in their 20s or something, it was all just dating apps, dating apps, dating apps. Yeah. And it's a lot of men that measured their worth 
with the dating apps. And if you don't know the game as a man, and I know this, this is mostly women watching this, but I'm going to peep you out the game. Men are manipulative, okay? And the reason that a lot of us are manipulative, especially in the dating game, is because we kind of have to be. Like, we really, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just going to so be honest. So when you say manipulative, you're speaking to, you have to pretty much, like, inflate. Inflate. Like you gotta there put, you go. You got to put yeah. 22 there in your you situation. Go. You, have to, you have to elevate yourself a little bit more. Right. I never do that because I don't care. You know so that. So you're I not just, necessarily <laughs> lying. You're not telling the whole truth. Right. But most guys won't tell the you're whole telling truth. telling the piece of the truth that sounds Boom. good. Another thing. A lot of ladies be so confused because I've seen so many videos this week of women saying they got stood up and he talked to me all the way up until the end. He talked to me all the way up until the end and then the date happened and he didn't show up. You know why that is? Do y'all know why that is? It's, the, it's funny that y'all haven't caught on to why that is. It's the simple. He, he ain't had no car. No. I ain't got shit to do with a car. Man, show up on a bike. And man, I don't give a shit about that. Are you serious? No money. If you dedicated, it ain't got nothing to do with fucking money. You can show. I've shown up for days without fucking money. Are you kidding me? It still got. It still got a pussy, bro. Are you? That ain't the thing. What it? No, it ain't got. Oh shit. No, you good? Come on, come on, come on, come on. You already out now. <laughs> we ain't gonna say that crazy. But the thing is, I lost my. I literally lost my train. Praise oh. God. I think it's because they're nervous. Oh. Cue the off. No, it ain't. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't nervous. It's if you've been on a dating site, right? You the way you've been trying to date is been on a dating site as a man. Y'all ladies don't understand this because most of y'all can send a message and y'all gonna get a response from somebody. Right. Y'all gonna get a hit from somebody. There's men that use dating sites for months. They pay. They get. They, they get the the little stars and all that other bullshit to boost their profiles and all that. And they don't get a match. They don't get a match. And these are not bad looking men. These are not, you know, weirdos. They just, they don't get a match because of whatever it is. Their uh, je ne sais quoi isn't there okay, for that. For, I'm just being. <laughs> it doesn't match with what, you know, the dating app. I don't mean that, that like in public they wouldn't be able to. Talk, but when they're measuring their worth to that and they're not getting no hits, they're like, damn, nobody wants to talk to me. Everything I try. You're not trying anything because all you're doing is putting yourself on on the dating app and hoping and you don't know the formula. And when I say men are manipulative, there's literally a formula to dating apps to where a lot of y'all fall for the exact formula that some of these pickup artists put out and it works every single fucking time. There's been times where before me and her got together where I wouldn't get no hits. The moment I used my methods that my friend gave me, just put the exact, he no, said exactly <laughs> what he said, exactly, <laughs> to, for, verbatim what he said. And, it, and just all of a sudden hits, hits. And it almost pissed me off because it was so superficial. Here I am taking effort to try to tell, be honest about myself, tell myself about who I am, like what I'm looking for, all this other stuff. No hits. The moment I do this bullshit that he's talking, this copy paste bullshit that he tells me, hit, 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 at least three hits a day. Now, when, when you ask most guys three hits a day, that's fucking pretty good for an average looking guy. Three hits a day just from a freaking out like an algorithmic formula that he came up with that he still probably uses to his day. <laughs> right? Oh, I don't gonna say your name. Say your name. That he probably still uses to this day. If you're watching this, I'm you taught me you taught you taught me a lesson. You got him and so a lot of guys go on there in earnest and they be like, yo, you know, I'm looking for I'm not looking for a one night stand. I have people on there looking for a one night stand. I'm Why? Because I'm looking for a, a one night stand. A top. Y'all not looking for a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all not looking for one night stands, but a lot of niggas on there looking for one night stands. I oh, I remember. I remember what I was about to say. I remember when I said <laughs> when guys stand y'all up like that, the reason that they're standing you up is because they already got a woman. Hundred percent of the time, the reason that he didn't show up to that date and he was talking to you up until that day, and then all of a sudden you blocked, and all of a sudden he not coming to the thing, and then nothing went wrong, it's because he has a woman. And he was trying to cheat on this woman. And I'm not trying to give away the secrets, fellas, but this is mostly women watching this right now. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> that's we, we why. Because I've seen people. multiple videos of like really good looking women. Like, I don't understand it. Like, why did they show up? There's like we were talking and da 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 da. And they're like literally like confused as to what, what's going on. I'm like, dude, you haven't y'all figured that shit out? He whatever the scheduling conflict was, it didn't match when y'all were supposed to meet yeah, up that day. We, we we do it. We we probably said in some shit, whether we in a relationship or we not, and mm -hmm. we Set some shit up, and the one we really wanted to see, right. you know what I'm saying? Be like, oh, so I'm, what time you want me to come over? And then we cancel the backup. Mm -hmm. I mean, we we all do it. But that's why. But a lot of times, that's why y'all get canceled on at the last moment. It ain't got nothing to do with y'all. End, end of the day. That's why I keep telling y'all. End of the day, we, we are, though. 
We are the shit and we ain't shit. At the same damn time. Because we keep the lot we keep everything running in this motherfucker. Facts. So we have a subscriber's choice, a subscriber pick. Okay. And theme of what we talking about. Yes, to keep the theme going, keep mm -hmm. the party going. And here is the clip. Don't Matt. like to give or and don't and won't. Why would I suck you? Majority of y'all have never worn condoms. Don't wear condoms and don't get tested. And you you fuck outside your race. I'm sorry. You why would I suck that? Why would I suck that? And I've dead ass had men tell me, Well, you know you're gonna get cheated on. Y'all cheat on everybody. Y'all cheat on women that's sucking it from the back, cooking for you, cleaning for you, paying your bills, sucking your toes, rubbing your toes. Helping your mama out with her. Y'all cheat on women that do everything for you. So, of course you're going to cheat on me. I'm not sucking dick. I would rather staple my own cooter mama shut and then tase it. You have a better chance of licking a gas station pump at a Wawa's than sucking dick in 2022. Don't do it. Don't, don't fucking. Wow. Well, there's a couple things she said that I do agree with. A lot of motherfuckers are dirty. So that's that. But if you Mo want your pussy, I'll say, say motherfuckers not even wash their hands and like start dealing with people's food. Like, so I get that. I, I, so you ain't washing your hands after you didn't touch some crazy shit. Not even just yourself, but if you touch some crazy shit and you don't wash your hands, it, it tells me everything I need to know about what you doing down there. I swear to God it does. You got to wash your hands, bro. But. I got to do what we talking about, but go ahead. Right. It's a fucking mute point. If you want your pussy ate. <laughs> And if he can fuck you without a condom, because women like that will let a nigga run up in them all the way raw and be like, no, I'm not going to put my mouth on you. What's the difference? You let me inside. You let that nigga inside you. Here's here's another thing. There's a lot of a lot of ladies I know. Most women can not suck dick. Uh -oh. They can't do it. Unpopular opinion. They can't. No, it ain't an unpopular opinion. Ask most men. Ask yeah. most men. Fella, sound most, off. Most women think they can suck dick. Most women cannot suck dick. I'm going to tell you like this. So if a woman says she don't suck dick, that's probably because she don't want to embarrass her. No, some women don't want to put a dick in their mouth. Oh, there's women that do true. a dick. There's I women, a homegirl who ain't there's women that ain't going to suck a dick. Like, But uh, there's some of us that until we actually had somebody, you know, make us climax from that, we didn't even think it was a big deal. Like, so most of my adult life, I never thought it was a big deal. So whenever women went down on me, it was just like, it was what it was. It was like, yeah, it's, it's nice to see your face. But as far as like what I'm feeling, it wasn't it wasn't hitting on nothing, okay? But you know, eventually things change, and I realized <laughs> that the shit feels amazing. But and, and what's crazy is that a lot of people suck my dick. Like I'm not trying to be graphic, but graphic. only one person has ever made me go from that. Like, and I'm not trying to put people's business out there, but that's what, I'm just being honest. Most women cannot cannot do it, and I don't know if it's because and it was almost confusing to me. When I got into the dating world, because I was like, damn, like, y'all don't have to do it. If, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. Like, I don't want to, I don't want you to feel like you're doing me any favors because what, regardless of what we do, I'm going to get off. So you don't have to put my dick in your mouth if you don't want to. But if you do and you're good at it, shit, niggas might stick around and be like, yo. Might <laughs> stick around, he says. <laughs> niggas might stick around. <laughs> <if you can laughs> just be like. Yo, that's some stuff I haven't experienced before because I'm telling you, most men, I'm, I promise you, haven't experienced what y'all see in porno and all of that stuff. They haven't seen that. They haven't experienced. They haven't felt that. And I'm telling you that as a person that has been around the block, as a whole bag, most men have not felt like that. And just having conversations with, that's a that's a special skill that a woman has to like to do. She has to like it. Just like I like eating cook. I like I like eating pussy. I'm not gonna even lie to you. I like. What it, I like the body reactions. I like the whole situation. So if I didn't enjoy it, I, I couldn't see myself doing that. You understand? Right. I like it. Like it is, I've always liked it. It's not something that I don't dislike. So I can understand how a woman would like it, but I can also understand how somebody wouldn't want to do that. Like I can understand that. Like I guess because I'm a dude, I can you know. <laughs> I mean, it's not it's it's not something that there's some guys that that's a deal breaker. Just it like is a lot some, of guys. Just like there's some women that that's a deal breaker. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. My thing is when you get into the whole semantics of mm. oh you going to cheat and I don't know where you been. We don't true. know where you been right. either. Like it goes both ways. So when you put your mind into the whole semantics of the shit, then okay, ain't nobody telling you to suck everybody's dick. Not everybody's dick, right. 
Like, Dude, you ain't deal, gonna want to. Deal with somebody that you want to deal with. That's what a lot of these ladies don't get. Stop dealing with, with, with scumbags. Like, honestly, at the end of the day, you got to stop dealing with scumbags. I know that y'all are attracted to scumbags. It's 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 in the DNA. It's not even like something that I don't think it's a conscious thing. I think it's just like it's a it's an inherent nature thing. But at some point when you like align yourself and you start checking like your preferences and like what you are, you don't have to worry about a nigga's dick being dirty, be, you know, because he out here sticking in an area. But at the end of the day, you don't know you you don't know what a man is doing. No, you don't know. Before he comes to your house. You don't know what a woman is doing before she shows up to you. You just don't. That's true. So if you're gonna put your mind in that headspace, you ain't gonna know that means you're you probably having some real boring ass sex because you thinking too much. You putting too much and that's not to say, yes, hashtag use condoms and all, you know, all that, whatever. That's what your body is. You know, protect yourself. But at the end of the day, you have to want to do it. Just like you have to want to have sex for the most part. You have to want to engage in mm -hmm. oral stimulation. And if you're going to do it, do it because you want to do it, not be out of obligation. See, that's the problem. A lot of women watch porn as well. Mm -hmm. And they want to do the one, two, and then... You know, but that's and that's what that's when I say I was confused. Because I know a lot of ladies watch porn. I've had like girls that were into porn that have sucked my dick and didn't know how to suck a dick. And I'm like, at what point were you watching what they were doing and you don't understand that, those mechanics? Like, right? Because at the end of the day, they call it a pepper. Here's pepper. the thing. Essentially, what what a, a, a man's penis head is <laughs> is like a large clit. That's essentially what it is. So the sensations. Almost similar. So if men can put their brain in there and women can put their brain in there and what feels good for each other, you can kind of understand how to get somebody off. But at the same off. time, men need to communicate that too because y'all be y'all sit that's true. Y'all sit through some terrible heads. We do. I've sat and through I, a lot of terrible heads. That's y'all fault. And that, so that's when true. Women that's true. When women out that's here true. with these inflated that's sexual true. egos. Because I was just gonna say, I was gonna say, I've been seeing videos of women saying how they they fake orgasms throughout you know their relationship, and I'm just like, why would you fake an orgasm when you could just tell that nigga like, oh, I like it this way, I like that's it this way. That's all it takes is a little bit of. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all it takes. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I think the same thing is for men, especially when it comes to head, because we'll tell you if your coochie's like, ain't hitting. Ain't Barely. Hitting. You think so? Barely. A lot of a lot of y'all won't do, y'all won't do that unless it's an argument that comes about or mm -hmm. she shoot like a low blow at you and y'all be like, bitch, that's why your pussy ain't blah, 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 blah. Like that type of shit. But y'all, y'all will sit through some trash ass head. Yeah. Oh, y'all yeah. will definitely sit through yes. some trash ass head. Yes. <laughs> because it's the effort. It's the effort. You know, if you sit up there, if you sit up I'm there, if you sit up there doing answer. that, if you sit up there doing that for me, that's that's a that's a term of endearment. So no, you don't want to be me. It is. It is. It is. For us, it is. Sucking dick is a term. It is. It's a term of endearment. It's, it's like not. it's like it's like roses. It's like getting a dozen roses for us. It is. It really is. It makes it. It makes us know that you like you like us a little bit. Like if my dick is in your mouth, I know you like me. Period. So she <laughs> point blank. Period. She swallowed him. What? What that mean? You, she showed up with the. Well, road. some people just some some ladies just like to swallow. So it's just a matter of if she just put the dick in your mouth. Yeah. That's, she fuck with. Time really did she fuck with me a little but bit? But it ain't nothing if she if she swallowed. That's not a, that's not a, a, a an extra. I don't care if she. I don't care what she do with it. Once the nut comes out, I don't care where. I don't care what you do with it. I don't. You can spit it out. You can put it in a piece of tissue. I don't give a shit. I got. I didn't got mine. You can do whatever the fuck you want. I never got the. Let me stop. Yeah. This is a YouTube video. This is a fucking YouTube video. This is a YouTube video. You about to go there, y'all. Let me crazy. stop. This ain't OnlyFans. That part. This is not OnlyFans. This is YouTube. This is a family platform. It's not a family-oriented yeah. platform. Family Put your kids to sleep. <laughs> watch this. <laughs> some of some of our content you gonna have to watch <laughs> with some headphones on, especially this one. Yeah. But, well, was it? Tommy Corners. So she she picked, like I said, she picked the subjects. She picked the subjects. That's why I, that's why I pointed that out in the beginning, so y'all can just see. Like this is, hey, I'm just going. I'm going with it's the flow. Fucking Friday. It is Friday. It is fuck. Oh, it's fucking Friday. Fucking Boom. Friday. It's fucking Friday. <laughs> fuck. So when it's fucking Friday, you gotta talk about oh, fucking. Fucking. There you go. Okay. Gotta stay tuned for the merch. <laughs> There's another thing too before we're just gonna talk about a couple more things. Let's see. Let's real, real, real quick while we on the same thing. I think like there's also a thing where like oh, I'll just say it in your mind. Which part? About women faking orgasm. Oh. And how they're saying like most like most men's like dick is trash and how a lot of men are selfish lovers and Yeah, because y'all be over here jackrabbiting. 
like yeah, I've heard a lot of that. Anybody want no jack and, and ladies like make a lot of, of um videos like that. But I'm just like, just tell niggas like what you what you tell But me. you know what a lot of women be like, you should you should know. But how would but you know? You would know he would know all based off of your reaction. So if you But if you're faking here, reactions, how would we know? Right. If you faking that's what I was gonna say. Mm-hmm. If you over here faking a whole ass reaction, then he is thinking he getting it popping based off of your reaction. So if you hollering till the cows come home, he think he really out here getting to it. Have you seen a lady on TikTok that's trying to teach men with micro penises how to hit the G spot? Man, I'm not. She's trying. Why you get mad? So all the ladies in her comments got mad at this woman. They got hot at this woman. It was like, I don't have to fuck him. I don't want to have to put up with no little bitty dick. I don't want to have to put up with no trash dick. You bitch. Like, why? This is the this is the women going at her like, I'm the fuck is wrong? The a- fuck is wrong with you? Like, fuck those little dick niggas, right? And she's like, she has to come back and make videos like, yo, I'm just trying to say, if you trying to be with your husband and that nigga got a little dick, is the is he got a little dick and you trying to make it work? Okay, that's <laughs> not what I'm saying. Some women have married men that they got married before they so had they sex. They already know. They didn't know. Some women didn't know that that nigga's dick was Bullshit. on. Bullshit. She knew that nigga dick was a, a gidget. And <laughs> she knew what she could and couldn't do. You better get that nigga extendo. You better go to the sex store and get him one of the extendo clips. Because it's niggas that slip out. Like Okay, a lot of men slip out. No, I mean, I don't mean slip out. I mean, they, they like, it... Like you can't they're, slip they're, out, you can't slip in. Yeah, it's it's barely going in. That's what I'm saying. So you got a gidget. So you need to go and get you that extendo clip. They do you sell, think, do they you, sell extendos. Do you, why is there so much hostility towards those gentlemen? <laughs> There's no hostility. There's hostility. I'm There's, not mad at them. Lady, them niggas. ladies in the comments were mad that that lady was trying to offer some suggestions. Because for, they, like, they a, were, those ladies were mad. They were like, "Why the fuck would you be up here trying to?" I'm like, "Dude, like, you could be advice for the little dick man." Like, because like, it's a ha- y'all, you know why? Because it's low key hashtag hate men uh, the time. Like, it's not hot girl summer like it was supposed to be. And women are online thoroughly upset. So it, they just they just mad at the idea of a woman teaching a man basically how to get some pussy, and it ain't gonna be their pussy. Get some pussy, but if we talking about people in a relationship. Maybe not even maybe not hitting G spot right. 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 But at that point you're gonna be single. But I'm not going to even engage in a relationship if the sex is bad. That's what a lot of the like, I'm not Because a lot of men are saying you need to wait, which is which is kinda like you know, like it's like this because obviously we pursue sex, but we saying you gotta wait to marriage before you jump into bed if you really want a commitment. Bullshit. Yeah, I mean, blah, blah, blah. That's, what, that's what that's what we're saying with our mouth. Bullshit. That's what the, that's what the mouth that's bullshit. what the mouth is saying. I'm saying, but the actions are saying something different. Shit, put bullshit on the screen. <laughs> bullshit, because I'm not. No, I'm not gonna marry you and your dick is subpar. Now I gotta divorce you. But how many how many ladies get married with with niggas that are in that situation? A lot. A lot of ladies get married in that situation. And. And maybe they think it's gonna change, or maybe the dick is gonna grow magic. I don't think it's that. I think it's. I don't maybe think he gonna, maybe he gonna develop some stroke game or some. Yeah, with, in, in that situation, I think they think that he's going to like because women, we you know we're into the toys and this and that, and mm. we want to try things and that third and that and the third. And right. if your man, you know, what I'm saying y'all had a bunch of missionary babies, then at some point you want to. I think they think at some point that it's gonna be spiced up. I don't necessarily think that it's because of his size. I with no situations. I think sometimes it's because you thinking that you know, oh, because you know, you watching TV, you seeing how you know, what I'm saying Martell getting it in on TV and shit, little murder in them, and you like, damn, like maybe he will, you know, what I'm saying, choke me, slap me. Maybe he'll become. My maybe hair. he'll become a, a, a fictional character from the television. Choke me, slap me, pull my hair. Maybe he'll just imagine that and just start doing that. Like, y'all never did that before, and then y'all in bed just start choking you and shit. <laughs> That's what I think. I think some women, and some women, I think some women are scared to initiate those type of conversations. And we feel, and some of us may feel say, like, as a man, like, we think that y'all will, auto, like, kind of automatically, like, into certain things. And so y'all, are, so, but more of a story is the communication is lost. Like if you want to be, if you want to choke me, and I want you to choke me, but we over here with our hand fucking with our hands behind our back, 
it's n- nobody's ever gonna get choked. Right? But y'all gotta express communication y'all, when y'all with a nigga. Y'all gotta express that. But here's the thing about that, and I and this is what I feel why I feel like expressing that ain't enough. Because y'all like excitement. We just said that when we talking about fucking in public. Mm-hmm. And that's what, if y'all are bored, y'all want excitement. That nigga, no matter what that nigga's doing, he can't offer you that excitement. Y'all looking for that excitement somewhere else. And you may not be actively looking for it, but low down, you're looking for that feeling, that initial feeling that you got with that person. It has nothing to do with the sex. Yeah, so the it's, it's the grass, grass, uh, the grass. It ain't even just thinking about grass. It's, 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 once again, atomic horniness because it's just, you just, yeah, I guess grass is greener or all this dude's dick's going to be better. Yeah. Of course, because you haven't slept with him. Your brains are going to do all this, yeah. going to give you all these chemicals and all this other shit. What y'all say? Ain't no pussy like new pussy? I ain't never said that. That's an age old model. But I, I can I can see I can see that. But yeah. Um, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> and the grass ain't always, the grass ain't always greener out here. That's all I'm saying. The thing is, one, of course. But sometimes it is. Because I'm grass. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it works out. Hello, my name is Grass. How are you? <laughs> but you know, like I said, at the, at the end of the day, protect yourself. It is what it is, and communicate with your partner. Your partner, if it's good, it's gonna be good regardless. Everybody has off days. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if you know, you just have to talk it out. If you want to just, if you see some. And you you scrolling through Instagram or Twitter like that rose that rose was the biggest. Remember that yeah. I, mm-hmm. I low key wanted it. I never got it because I found me something better. But they got a new coochie looking one too. Do they? Yeah, it, it has like water in it, and then like the little. It's like you put like it. You put it like right there, and then it like it's like this little tongue thing in there, and it gets like all wet, and it's like really. It, it, it's literally look, it literally was like eating pussy. Wow! I just saw it the other day. I'm gonna go on Amazon. Add that to my wish list. Another good one too, <laughs> um, ladies. If you like, um, this one's a little bit more expensive. The the um, rocking horse dildo. It's like you sit on it and you like you just you kind of rock and it kind of like, but it, it it directly touches your G spot. So. Yeah, they yeah the mount. They yeah, the mount. It. There you go. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, that. So yeah. So if y'all single ladies and y'all don't have time, or if you're, if you're not single, or if it's you, a toy. Who gives a shit? You want to have some pre nut clarity or post nut clarity, because you know we have that too. Yeah, I know y'all do. After we we be so horny, you know how many times I've been we, like I've been put out. Oh yeah. We. Oh yeah, I know. We will <laughs> masturbate because maybe you take it too long. And we'll masturbate, and then we niggas be like, "You up? Nah, I'm sleep, bro." So. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I changed my mind. <laughs> oh, some Keisha Cole type. And I guess I guess you're right about the whole like masturbating thing too, because I guess guys, if you masturbated before you went to the club, you wouldn't be licking the bottom of a woman's feet. <laughs> and with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we will come back to you tomorrow with another episode of this. Yes, and we will be here every weekend for you guys to wrap up the shenanigans of mm-hmm. what we've seen throughout the week and if you have any you know like like the subscriber to pick today if you guys have anything that you would like for us to discuss a topic or anything like that we are very much so open to that you can find me on nisha d reloaded on instagram so you are more than welcome to send me a message follow me over there and i will relay the messages to J Rock, and we will implement them into the show. And you can you can find me over on Pope Sci Fi. I do my art there, and you can see me work semi nightly. And I put up stuff up there, and I'm gonna just be talking my shit on there too. Absolutely. Not like we talking here; it's a little bit more just me being goofy and making stuff. So absolutely, and like I said, we will be here every Friday and Saturday, unless you know what I'm saying. He wants some grass. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, but we will be here. We be we we'll be that ha, ha. we will be here every weekend just to give you guys some entertainment and this has been a great show. I think so. I like Another one in the books. I one. loved it. And thank you again for tuning in to Sugar Honey Ice Tea. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe hit that button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. The notification That's bell. Right. So yeah. you can know every time we upload with the shenanigans. <laughs> All right, y'all. Love you guys to pieces. See Have you guys later. Bye. Bye.